some <laughs> oh tabak. I look crusty. Eh. Hi guys, it's my lovely hair and welcome to 876 Barbies. Yes, yes, you're seeing right. It is me. I am here recording. I'm still alive. I'm I'm back. Let, let, let's say hi. Hello. I'm back. I'm here. I'm still living. Um, yeah, there is so much I need to catch you guys up on and that's what this video is going to be. I'm going to be doing a quick and easy I wipe my face with some wipes and some Lancome micellar water. Yeah. So I put a little on my wipes and I'm going to wipe my face. Uh, so I'm going to be doing my quick and easy face um so i have a big announcement for you guys i am pregnant <laughs> yes i'm gonna be a mom to be a first time mom to be um when i'm all dolled up i'll show you guys the tummy when i'm finished with the face i'm actually the belly and the face look good anyways so yeah um that's one of my big things why i've been m i am eight months pregnant i was thinking to do um like semester like a sim like when i'm updates on my semesters but honestly guys i have nothing to tell you i've just been going for somebody inside of me and that's it no pains no nothing different um my face don't even get that fat so it's like i'm having this awesome pregnancy and i'm grateful knock on wood that it continues i don't want nothing to go wrong i want everything to go, continue the way it is i'm like i'm totally blessed like nothing i don't get swollen feet or at least i don't see my feet, feet looking swollen all i see is boobs hella boobs and a belly that's it um so yeah that is one of my news um yeah, so, here what? I'm going to do my brows and come back and then I'll talk to you guys while I do my face. So, yeah. Um, yeah, so, yeah, that's... I'm, I'm gonna be a mom! <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm feeling so blessed. I'm so happy. Um, my little family is starting and yes, it's with baby boy that you've seen in videos past. So... We've been together for how long now, but anyways, it's another story. But anyways, we'll catch. I kept you on the flip side of these brows, and I'm going to do a routine. They're not cleaned up right now. I'm trying to grow them out so I can do a routine. I've I've been supposed to be doing a routine for you guys, so I'm going to do a routine later on. Like, all right, guys. So yeah, my I've done my brows. And yeah, they're a little thick right now because, as I said, they want to be filled in. So, this is how they're gonna look right now. Um, but no, now I'm going to apply some moisturizer. And what I use is this. I'll talk about this in our next video. Um, but yeah, let's just moisturize my skin. And this is my quick and easy, you could say, mom routine. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting into that kind of routine, the quick and easy face, so I don't look so blah when I'm going on the road. Um, and what I'm going to use as my foundation, or what foundation I'm going to use, is my Milani powder, beauty powder foundation. So. To, um touch up my face or whatever all right so i've been mia from youtube because in 2016 my mom passed i was going through that i did videos since then but i wasn't really into doing anything i wasn't really active i was finishing school at the same time so i was more focused on just doing that because i really didn't want to do school but it was like that then on top of that well, thankfully, it didn't happen while I was doing school. My laptop crashed. 
still not fully working. I need a new one. It, I have had it for over four years now. So it did its time and I need a new one. But I'm struggling with it right now. Because it's all I have, so I have to work with it. Um, so yeah, that's what's been going on. If you guys see me looking, like moving, because I need to see if the camera is recording because it's giving me a little bit of problem. Right now, I don't know why. Um, so yeah. That's my base. I don't do much as you can see, it's not much of a difference. I really just lighten under my eye. Really, that's where my focus is because that's where it shows the no sleep that I've had. I'm going to take this um, retouch and erase concealer by Milani and put a little bit of this. It's a lighter shade under my eye. And as I said, it is my mom routine, like my really easy step and go routine. It's quite quick. It, not, it normally takes me less than 10 minutes to do this because I'm not doing a lot. I really don't want to be doing a lot. So I'm going to set my face now with some translucent powder. Right now I'm using the Sasha powder. I use it lightly because I really don't love the foundation of this powder. This powder can tend to look ghostly as you guys can see and then I'm gonna take my Milani pressed powder in chestnuts so I'm putting the Milani pressed powder all over my face even over the Sasha powder that most Sasha face by Shannon that's the powder that I like to use um powder that I apply under my eye I don't really want the highlighter I just want it to brighten under my eyes and then apply the powder. Hold on. Alright, so I applied the powder all over my face. So this video really seems like it's going to be hella choppy because my camera is giving me trouble. Alright, so the next step for me is oh, let me put on some chopstick comics that I tend to use. So next is a little bit of blush and a little bit of highlights. Today I'm going to use the Milani Color Harmony. This is one that I use a lot so lately since, it, since I've got my hands on it. And I love it. I love the color of the blush. It's just this soft salmon color. So it's a little peachy, a little pinky that for my skin tone and then where I go all out is on highlights because I'm not going to do anything really with my eyes so I kind of bring some life to my face with the highlight yeah being a first time mom this experience has been good to me I have no complaints whatsoever, as I said earlier, like, I have no complaints, like, none whatsoever. I've just been getting fat in the tummy and the boobs. That's all, like, literally, that's all ha that happened to me. And I'm thankful for that, because some of the horror stories that some people that I know tell me, I don't want to go see that. Like, don't scar me, child. Just come into the world and be a beautiful blessing. And no, I don't know the sex of the baby. I don't want to be surprised. So I haven't found out the sex personally. My spouse does know. He's excited. But I believe it's a boy. I really believe it's a boy. Like, when. Sometimes us as mom know, it's just like, I just feel like I know that it's a boy and it's a boy. Um, we'll find out. I guess I'll tell you guys whenever he's here. My due date, by the way, is June, late June. But I'm open for early July. I hope he sticks around for early July because that's my spouse's birth once. He's a cancer, like 
it is born in Bonn. Its birth date of birth is June tenth, July tenth. But yeah, so I want the baby to born to be born. I'm not talking so poorly. Um, in his mind. So yeah, I want to tour them born because. Yeah, I just want my whole family to be like cohesive. And yeah, I want a boy first because I really believe that boys look out for their the, 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 the sisters oh, um, when they're older more. I don't know. I don't know if it's true or what or just because I'm an only child looking in. But I want to have a, two kids. I want to have a boy and a girl. Hopefully the next one is a girl. But if I have a next one. So... I can have the boy looking out for the little girl, which is what I would have hoped if I could have choose having my siblings. If it's a if it's a girl, I don't want a boy because I want to experience both. But for me personally, I've always wanted a sister since I'm a girl. I don't want to be responsible for a, a boy. I don't know why. Anyways, but yeah, my experience of being a first time mom as has been great so far and I'm just thankful like extremely thankful to God that it has been going so good I've not been telling a lot of persons so some persons will not even know because I don't put it on social media I just only the other day posted on my whatsapp and on my snapchat um but yeah it's not that I'm not happy. It's just that I want persons who know or knew from early to be persons who were have been in my life. So if you're around, that means that you've been in my life and you know. That kind of way, I don't know what to explain it, but just me overthinking things as always. So I'm gonna put a little bit of my powder in my crease just to kind of define my eyes. Put some color in my eye. And as I say, this is a quick and easy eye. So this is practically all I'm going to do and then add some some um highlighter in the in the inner portion of my eyes. Majority of my face is done. Um I did my inner corner of camera. I did my liner because I can never do liner on camera and added a little bit of mascara. So I have on blush, highlight, foundation, a little bit under the eyes, a little bit of concealer under the eyes, and now I'm going to apply a lip. All right, so my favorite lip combo consists of 10 million colors, just to get one. Um, so first thing is MAC French Kiss Lip Pencil. This is Chubby Pencil here. And then I have the NK Lip Shine. It's almost done with it done. And it's a lip color in on time. It's one of my favorite lip gloss. I need to get this back. I don't know where to find it again because the place that I got it, they don't have it anymore. And then I have the Jordana Lip Gloss in Am Amor Rose. Amor Rose. I don't know how to pronounce that. Amor, Los. Anyways, and then the Beauty Rush lip gloss from Victoria's Secret. Alright, so what I normally do is apply the, which is almost done, lip pencil to the inner portrait on my lip, and it gives my bottom lip some color. So it kind of gives this pinky hue, which I love. And then I apply the lip gloss that done. May I scrape it for dear life? On top of that, that also gives me a nude look. And then the Jordana lip color. I don't always put this in the combo, but sometimes I want it to be a little more pinky, like today. Sweating. 
and then some more shine because I've been feeling like looking like a grease ball on the lips. Uh, Sometimes I sorry guys. Sometimes I apply the MAC lip glass in O oh Baby on top when I want it to be a little bit more shimmery. But most of the time this is just it. It's like a natural glossy lip. So pretty. And this would be me. Um Quick, simple, easy, run out the door. Generally do my lips in the car because babe never wants to wait in patience. <sighs> Who knows about that? Like understands the struggle when babe really wants to wait. Like all him do is put on him clothes and that's it. And babe put on him clothes and that's it. And him don't want me fix up. But yeah. So that's it. And as I was saying, let me come. I'm running mom to me here. <laughs> Excited. I have some videos of me doing some nesting because, oh, another thing is my dad got married, so I'm living kind of alone. But now my, my spouse is moving in because I was with him. So now we're moving into my old house because nobody's occupying it right now. Um, so we're <laughs> living together and it's been like such a change um, being in this house and having a baby and not having my mom in the next room anymore. My dad is not here. Like so many changes um, in the past year. Um, it kind of got me to be kind of withdraw. Like a lot of persons still hear from me and I'm sure they're like thinking I'm like, whatever but I've just been going through so much I just wanted I just have been by myself um, I literally just talk to my spouse and whoever messages me like I'll answer but like that's it who sees me is persons who actually want to see me who come to my house because before I stopped working all I did was work and come home work come home um, so I didn't see much persons I didn't see much of my friends, as we say. Um, but no, all I see is home and whoever comes to me and the persons who I've seen all of I've really appreciated since then. Like there is one person, she is my baby's best friend according to her. And yeah, she has been she has been spoiling this baby. Bear kick at give me diabetes already <laughs> joke but yeah she has been visiting me even though she's going away leave us in a couple of weeks she has been visiting me keeping my company and all of that like she has been a cool little addition to the family i knew her for a long time but we've never been this close and she loves baby so I'm happy that she's happy to just be around the baby or the tummy. Um, but yeah, I've just been here nesting, not having a laptop for a while, but I'm back. I have videos of me doing some renovations in the house. I'm going to be having a studio in my house pretty soon, so I've been doing that. Plus moving, plus or just organizing the, the room. We don't, we're not going to have a baby room, room per se, like a nursery or whatever, because the baby's going to be sleeping in or we're going to a whole room to the baby. Just a correction. Um, it's just a Jamaican thing, I guess. Um, not a whole room, because the baby's going to be in my room. Like, and yeah, I have that to show you guys. I love what I do with that room, like the gray color. You guys will see. Um, I've been videoing that already, even though you will see this before. Um, so. Yeah, I love what I've been doing in the house and I've been growing up like a lot since like my dad say it turned big on my now. I'm like I've been a big on my long time but yeah I've, I've definitely grown a lot. Doing a lot more, doing a lot of cooking. I've been cooking Jamaican dishes. Like for example my daddy teach me how to do 
Yes, I'm 20 and I don't know how to do certain Jamaican cuisine because I don't normally eat them. I don't even eat Kalaloo. I didn't even eat Kalaloo and I'm now learning to cook it. And that's bomb for me. That's a lot for me. If you know me, you know that. I don't eat veggies. <laughs> so Kalaloo was a stretch. So I've been learning all of that. Um, I've been growing a lot over the past year since my mom died, learning how to live without <laughs> my dad in the house as well is something, but he has been around a lot still because as I said, I'm still at my house that I grew up in. Um, so he comes to visit like at least once a week, check up on his house, his mango trees. <laughs> He just come check up on his baby girl. That's what he did. And yeah, I've been being a housewife. That's an experience. Like not really a housewife, but you know, doing stuff in the house. It's fun. <laughs> it's weird to hear somebody in this generation say, "Yo, house, house, being home is fun." But for me, it's fun renovating the house, painting, seeing it come to life, seeing my vision come to life, fun, like, I, I, I love it, um, so I did, I did do a little bit of snippets, showing some of the stuff that I did, like, I refurbished this side table that my dad had in his room that he didn't use anymore, I should be showing you guys, if I get the chance to, as I said, I'm eight months, I've not packed the baby bag as it, which is very bad, but I need to get this room that I'm in right now situated so I can get the baby stuff in the drawer and stuff and get them washed and stuff. But yeah, um, my bag has been packed so I'll show you guys what is in my bag. You guys will see this after this video. Alright, yes, as I was saying, um, my camera keeps cutting off so I'm just going to end it here. Um, I'm back. I have a lot of videos to come, like my nesting videos, things I've been doing around the house to get ready for my little one. Um, yes, um, I have a lot of videos, so a lot of makeup videos, a lot of stuff planned in my head. So hopefully they come soon and nothing happens to my laptop again, and hopefully I get a new one soon. Um, yeah. So, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for a little worse still here on my channel um please share i'm planning to do a lot more read re the more i love your brand thank you for the support of all who do watch remember to comment comment and tell me something about your last how your last few months have been since i last been here something new something exciting that has happened to you um probably you got a new job or something just comment it down below we can chit chat i want to start doing that a lot more with my subscribers um so yeah tell me what has been happening with you i've been i have the loss of my mom my dad marrying now having a baby on my own living with my hubby um a lot has been going on with me and i'm 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 so happy like i can't even talk see i can't even talk i'm so happy like life has been bringing new stuff i'm not one that embraces change quickly and openly but i am still happy for everything that's happening in my life um so yeah guys comment down below like this video if you like the video i know i ramble probably don't even make sense when i start editing but i'm back more i love these hair and remember to wear the best you for the world to see and there's a lot more to come from more lovely thank you guys for success for subscribing if you're not subscribed subscribe and yes i'm a new mom oh yeah i didn't show you guys the tummy show you guys my little bump Ooh, that's my little bump my little bump bump Ooh, doo -doo -doo -doo. my little bump and yeah that's my little one uh, we are so excited we 
and I'll be so excited. Um, so excited, like, I can't wait to meet this girl or boy. So, my lovely gang, comment down below what your experience for the last six months or whatever, what new has been happening in your life. How has 2018 been for you so far? Yeah. I, I'm just like, hey, life, we are happening and there. So, yeah. Bye, guys. And as I said, we're the best you for the world to see. Bye, dolls. Thank <laughs> you.